hello it's Sarah and welcome back to another polymer clay Tuesday I'm calling it and this might not be Tuesday but hopefully it's Tuesday so we have pretty much created all these tiles this is a continuation of the Christmas project that I've been working on and now is time to put our design together so what I'm doing is I've I've got I've just dumped out all the tiles I have the prospective tiles and I'm pulling ones that I definitely want to use in here I want the home sweet home or the home for the holidays I definitely want to use a couple of these um, stockings let's see I'm using the white that is a big tile so we'll see but I, I want to throw in at least three other white tiles so white white my bird my snowman and my snowflake I have a couple options for Merry Christmas I have this big Merry here are my I'm gonna put them up oh, okay um, what else I have this Christmas so I could do this Merry Christmas but I have a smaller Christmas and I'm pretty sure I have a smaller Merry I just have to find it I think I want to put this um, dove on here and the penguin so I think I'm going to have if I have the Santa I'm gonna space them around like that you know I like to space things out so your eye has somewhere to go type thing I love these embedded um, snowflakes there's I mean snowflakes these buttons they're so dimensional um, this bell and then there's another ornament um, all right so I have a lot going on here I'm gonna get I have my other one of them um, you're gonna need glue and for glue I like to use weld bond it is uh, 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 right here something just hit the floor this is Wild Bond I think I got this at Blick Dick Blick um, Art Supply they used to sell it at Michaels and AC Moore and they may still but I haven't really even looked lately so um, but that is the glue that I've used ever since I started um, mo making mosaics and I glued all my mosaics that I did with glass the real mosaics like real glass mosaics these are real too <laughs> um, it is such a great glue it's a white glue and it dries pretty fast and if you can get it I would recommend it but I think probably I wouldn't use my glue gun that's like I just don't like glue gun glue on certain things it's a fast drying glue and that's good it's not particularly strong especially on um, slick surfaces like this I have had the experience that it pulls off so that's why I don't trust it that's I'm just I don't trust it very much all right I can't find my little Mary I don't know why it's probably right in front of me but um, here here it is I found it okay so I have this small Mary and this big Mary so I have the big Merry Christmas or the smaller version I kinda like the smaller version I'm gonna go with that for now I could also separate it with a grout stick like that kind of thing or um, maybe even chain or just put them together so this is all part of the design process and I also I definitely want to use believe and I have peace too. peace is green here it is peace so I'm gonna put peace and believe um, I have a couple of buttons that I want to use by themselves so this Christmas tree is just by itself and I think I'm gonna use the poinsettia by itself and maybe this snow I mean the Santa by itself just not embedded in clay that's what I mean by by itself um this I like well not that music notes there was another one all right definitely painted tiles so I want it anything that's kind of big 
I want to get on here because then we're going to fill in with smaller um, pieces. So I'm just kind of piling stuff. Oh, I like these, the ones that look like packages. I love these. So I might put one of them. And I want the music, but I think I have ones that were brighter, like this one and this one are definitely brighter and they're smaller. So this is how I kind of start to get my um, design together. So it's just playing, putting things here and there. I don't want to use the gold necessarily. I made gold and silver with the bird. I want to um, put a few of these embedded charms. I like that one. Um, so I, oh, here's the other. This is the ornament I was talking about. So that's a definite. And then these are definites. I want that. I want peace again. And I'd like the angel this angel and this angel. So see how it's starting to get crowded? Um, that means that I'm going to have to start to find a place for these, but I want to use a couple of these embedded ones. I want the package, the Santa, and the tree, I think. So let's, I'd like to use those four and we're getting there. It's starting to... get filled up. I'm going to use that music. Then I also have these cool pieces, like the wind ones that I did with the swirly pattern. I like them. I have a bunch of white filler um, snowflake patterns like this. It just has snowflakes. So I'm kind of leaving them off. I also have black filler, um, but I want to get the main design focal pieces. I have red filler too, red. So I have red, white, and black filler. And then I also have the gold leafing. See, this is the one I did with the, um, the point of the arrow, the Tim Holtz arrow that looks like trees. That's why I want to use that. Um, so, Little by little, we'll get there and we will see how it goes. So I'm going to go away and put this into some sort of a shape where I like where I'm headed. I want to use this tree too. See, I want to use that. All right, and then I'll let you see what I've done. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I just wanted to show you. I have, I'm pushed everything away and I'm pulling these forward now. These are the ones that I really want to use. I want to see these used and then I'm going to start placing them, but I separated out everything. All right, that's what I did. Okay, that was my battery. I just moved things around a little. I put the December 25th down here and I like that because that's going to fill in. I just moved the piece up, put piece there. Still have the angel here. So I need like a filler tile there. Um, like maybe this little white piece could go there, you know? We'll see. Oh, look right here, maybe. So that's the kind of tedious part. Once you get the main bits and pieces um, that you want to put where they go, the tedious part then becomes just filling in here and there with filler tiles. Like, see, I like how I have, I happen to have two painted tiles that are the same size and I'm, I put the tree here. But I'm going to put something here. Um, I have like this little white one. I need a bigger. It's hard to judge sometimes how big it needs. But see, white? No, I don't want white. I'm going to put, no, not red. See, that's the thing. Um, because I could put, I think I'm, I wasn't going to put another painted tile here because those are painted. So you start to get a little frustrated, a little, not frustrated, but I'm saying it on purpose like that. Um, see, I actually like this in the corner. So anywho, I am going to, I think I want to start gluing so I can show you guys what that's all about. Uh, see, there needs to be something above. 
Boo, boo. I'm singing Hoagie Fest. Sorry, that commercial stuck in my head. Um, <coughs> so, but I am liking the way the main focal pieces are placed. And I have so much goodness here that I could fill in with. I mean, I'm not going to stress out yet. Um, I could always make more tiles. Oh, I like this little... I like him. I'm going to put him over here. There's kind of a lot of green going on here. But I'm... I'm okay, let's see. I can put that up. I can put him up. I think I like that. Because I don't want to put the buttons too close to each other. I have them spaced out. See, tree, poinsettia tree, sleigh, angel... Ah, uh, I like that. And then I have these. I really love these ornaments. They're so pretty. And I mean, I could put them somewhere. Um, I don't really want to put them next to another button. So I think I'm good with the buttons. I think, I think. But I have snowflakes. I have this red flower. See, I put this green crystal flower there and I like that but I have a red one I could put the red one the red one next to it oh I have another red one like just to fill in why not we'll see I have these music notes these came with the um angel buttons so I have a bunch of these different music notes they're red and green and white so I was thinking of filling in around the angel with them at the end I have this Santa button I was really thinking of using him. Could probably put that there if I moved that actually. Not quite fitting. Anywho, all right, I don't want to just film this, but this is basically it. So I'm going to go away and I'll come back when it's all done. Oh, I want to show you that how I glue. All right, so here's the weld bond. I will take this and I'll squirt it onto a paper plate. And I happen to have a big one today. And I use a brush. And I take a little bit of the glue. Um, I'm gonna use this brush. These are just my beat up brushes. And I'm gonna do this December the 25th because I am gonna it's staying there no matter what. I do the back of the tile, oops, and I do the surface, and it dries clear. You have a minute to kind of wiggle it into place, make sure everything's straight. I think I did this on the um, I did a uh, a box gluing I think. And I like to leave a little space between. Just about, I would say that's probably an eighth of an inch space. Not positive. So that is that. I could put a grout stick there. That would look cool. All right, but I am gonna fudge around and play with this and I'll come back. All right, that's it though. You wanna put glue on the piece and on the tiles. All right, be back. Okay, it's all glued. Um, I am now really trying to fill in these nooks and crannies before I get down to the really tiny stuff. I'm gonna use my glossy accents, but I'm gonna take a piece of this red clay and I'm gonna make two corners to put on either side of this and I may put a piece here, but we'll see. I was gonna do gold, but I think I'm gonna do red. So I'm just gonna take my tonic scissors and I'm gonna cut a triangle. I'm gonna pick the side I like best and just cut it. And see how that fits right in there? Because, and look what happens. It doesn't ruin the um, clay. The clay just cuts. So let's see, I think I'll do another one of them. Let's see what this 
Yeah, I don't think that's the right angle. Mm, I'm gonna just cut it back into a square and then I can kind of decide. I'm gonna cut it into a triangle. I think that's good and then I can fill anything else with little um, like what are they called micro beads right this little piece it's the little piece that's left not quite how about oops can't get it out just a red like square how about I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut like a piece of this off it's like a about a see I mean it's not perfectly shaped I kind of, I mean, do I need it there? Not sure. So yeah, so this is the process then. Oh, that one kind of crumbled on me. So I like these triangles though. They'll go there. Um, like any other bigger sections, like big sections. Like I have, I'm thinking of breaking this into fours if I can. See, look, it breaks. And I, now I have this little square that'll fit there. Maybe a gold one, because, <sighs> oops, blew away my triangles. But like I could put one there and one there. It's a mosaic, guys, so like you just fill in. I can put seed beads, see I have two more of these little ones now. Like over here, I ended up using, I switched this around, like I, change things around so which is going to happen I mean it's part of the you have to kind of play around with how things fit but I wanted to put this bottle cap and it's I did glue it with the glue but I, I think I'm going to go back with glossy accents and do that but I ended up using this other one that I was going to put here I used that and then I put this one closer so it's like a smaller spot so don't you know don't worry about it just take and then don't I haven't even gotten into the beads yet like actually instead of that those triangles I could just put this red here oh my gosh that looks gorgeous like I think I could just put this everywhere it's so pretty you know so everywhere I definitely wanted to put um, some music notes by the angel but like now that I'm looking any other little space that I mean I want to put this red chain you know um, so that is the tricky part. Just so FYI, it's not, you know, it's not simple to just fill in those things. You have to kind of play and tweak and think of stuff, all right? And then I'm going to do the microbeads at the very end. So I'm going to come back when it's really down to just the microbeads, the littlest nooks and crannies. And I'll be, oh, see these triangles might even fit up here to see this little spot. that could be a good place because see um red like there's not a lot of red up there like there's well <laughs> there's red see like they fit there too so maybe i'll do something like that i think i am definitely going to fill something in over there then there's this spot right here i've been thinking about i don't know what i'm going to put in here and i have these like i have a white flower that's cool i didn't realize i had a white one um white 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 because I mean, you could use white because of, that's part of my theme. Um, it's not fitting. What else do I have? Oh, I have this little bow. So, you know, I'm just going to play around and see if it fits anywhere. <clears throat> I could put it on the house. Um, but I have a lot of stuff. I have a star. This little star. Uh, what else? Another red, oops, red flower. More charms. I have a, like a, a, a bling angel. 
doesn't really fit anymore now though. Alright, so I'm going to continue and then I'll be back when we get down to the littlest microbead stuff and I'll show you how I do them. Okay, so I think I've done the best I could with, like, <clears throat> I used mostly these chains. I have red, this beautiful big green one, and this little tiny red one. And there's also black, but I didn't use that. I did use a little piece of gold ball chain right here. Um... I mostly filled in with all those, and see, look at that green bling. Isn't that cute? But I used those music notes. I used two there and two there. And then I just cut tiles where I could. I cut, tried to cut little pieces of tiles. Two pieces of bling here, a little piece of that red here. Three green there, red, the bigger red there. Um, music notes. This star is from the top of a tray, not this kind of tray, but a different tray, but it fit there nicely. Two little pieces of red there. This is a heart. I'll probably put some glitter in that, some type of stickles. But I had it with, it was black clay with gold, so I just cut it. Another music note, gold, flower, gold. Uh, I love the bottle cap. That looks really cool. I've never put one of them on before. Um, this I just found in my stash. It was just a flower, and I'm going to gold it up more. I'll put some more gold. Um, let's see, ink of gold. Oh, in the corners here, I had that's that same kind of heart tile. I cut cut that in, and you can see the hearts, and I like that. So I'll put some type of stickles in there but I wanted to show you um, I want to use my micro, micro beads and I got these these are the recollections brand I got these um, the other day I got the metallics so I have silver and gold I have red and green too but I think I have enough red and green around here so I'm gonna go with some gold right no I think I'm gonna do silver because there's gold here and gold there. I'm going to do silver and I want to fill in right around this little guy's head and maybe in between all around this um, elf. So let me kind of aim you down there so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put them in this, let's see if this is open, yeah. I'm going to put some in this little, hmm, I had a paper bowl last time I'm going to try and put them in here. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. All right, I'm going to use my glossy accents and I'm going to put the glossy accents where I want the beads to stick because that is where they will, I'm getting a pin to open my, my bottle, okay. But that is where they'll stick, right where I put this. Oh, of course my battery is blinking. I'm um, putting a little bit there. So that's, I'm going to put a few here and a few here. So this is probably going to make a mess, but I'm going to do the straw technique again. I just take a piece of straw, like an actual drinking straw, and pinch the end, and then you can scoop up the beads in there and deposit them where you want them. And it's just easier than taking the whole bottle and trying to negotiate that big bottle. Oops, that was a lot. And let's see, I am going to actually hold this because I have some here. I want to put it right there. And I'll tell you what, it sticks pretty good right off the bat. So you can see that there. I like it. I think they're super cool. I'm going to put a little bit more um, here in this little section. I like it. It's something glimmery. Why wouldn't I like it? I like glimmery stuff. And I mean, I could, I think it's cool. I do. Um, 
you might not like it but I happen to like it and I'm just gonna I might take a pin and kind of coax them into an exact place let's see um, there was another place I had a big gap around the um, right around the here this area here I'm gonna put some there Silver will be good. There's no silver down here. And I'm going to make it like into a triangle shape, kind of. Sort of, kind of. Scoop them up. And they'll only stick where you put them. I'm going to put, I think I want to put gold. No, I'm going to put silver. Like a bead of silver there and a little piece of silver there. I'm just filling it in. Any naked spots, I'm putting microbeads. Because I like it. I like them. Okay. Oops, I touched that. I really touched it. I messed it up. All right. Let's see what happens now. These things are very messy. FYI. Like, <clears throat> they will bounce and get all over. So... This is a nice big plate. It's kind of working good. I'm gonna Let's see how that looks. Let me pick that up gently. So we have that, but look over here. There's just a pile of them here. So I'm gonna take a pin, the pin that I, and just kind of coax them over into That's a piece of glue. I don't like that. I'm going to take that off. I like it though. It's just like a little pile of, of, bleep, of beads. Oh, there's the other section there. But see how some kind of get away? I'm just coaxing them where they're supposed to go and I'll probably tap it off again. All right, so that's what I'm doing. I might try putting a few gold ones on, like up, maybe up here in between. Just anywhere there's a, a little nook or cranny, I'm going to fill in with microbeads. All right, so that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm going to make a box, too, like a little box with some Christmas stuff on it. So, And then the next thing I'm going to do is add the beads to the top. But that won't be on a clay day. We'll do um, another clay technique next week. But probably in between then and now, I'll do um, a video on the little um, the beads that I'm going to put on the top. I might even dangle some from the bottom. I'm not sure. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.